not too long ago nvidia ceo appeared in an interview and mentioned how programming and coding are outdated skills now now that ai has improved and the world is using it um, programming and coding as we traditionally know um, have probably gone down in terms of skills in its demand i'm dipti singh your admissions counselor for japanese universities and today in this video i'm going to introduce you to an alternative of computer science engineering which is data analytics most students who come to us uh, we see a huge demand for computer science programs uh, but don't forget the world is ever evolving and so are the demands in the job market and data analytics as um, it is as a course is definitely much more in demand right now so let's look at what is exactly is data analytics so basically uh, data analytics is more in demand and it's a globally accepted uh, career option more uh, globally you know uh, prevalent career option and more interestingly it has more industry relevance so when i say that i will explain uh, more in detail how it is more relevant in different industries but for now let's understand the difference between computer science programming and data analytics so computer science programming as you know it focuses more on coding and programming if you like to code build apps build websites writing code definitely it is something you should do but let's say you are more dynamic and you would like to solve real world problems as a consultant in that case uh, data analytics basically makes sense of the large data that is available in the world right now so you can read into the data and also build systems like apps and provide solution so basically data analytics you will be providing solutions you will be making sense of that data reading patterns and solving real world problems using data while in computer science you will be creating tools and data analytics decides how to use these tools now let's look at some industry trends in japan in japan uh, as you know japan leads in robotics in ai and automation so obviously there is a huge amount of data that is available in this scenario that just as in any other country japan also looks forward to have people on board who can solve the problem of analyzing this data and develop future trends so computer science is still strong but data analytics is the way forward so data analytics will primarily include three skills not just one which is programming and coding it will be a combination of programming and coding business solutions so you if you think you have a business uh, bent of mind and you would like to dwell more into solving problems looking at trends in an industry right and also if you are good at mathematics you are good at statistics so definitely data analytics is the way forward now data can be in varied forms and different industries right so for example there could be a specific data in uh, business for example marketing data so in business if you have lot of data of marketing let's say um social media marketing or marketing campaigns physical marketing campaigns now you have all this data but what do you do with this data is primarily what a data analytics uh, specialist would do so they would look at this data and suggest to companies how they should market in future and what is capturing attention what methods are working which strategies are working and which are not working similarly let's say you pursue finance now in finance also there is you know loads of data around investments and how the markets behave right how equity funds are behaving now you can study business from a business angle but if you are more interested in maths and you are more interested in accounting and in equity markets then maybe you would like to study business with data analytics so that you can make sense of large data sets so data analytics can also be specialized as per the industry vertical you can actually study it for different industries for example health have a different set of data and different analytics and different uh, you know trends going on similarly you can study it for businesses 
you can also study it for finance and technology or there could be other industries as well where you can specialize but if you know the tools the know how of interpretation of data that's the way to go forward you can implement it in any industry but if you are given a chance to specialize this data set in one industry then you become a specialist in that particular domain and let me tell you that's a huge um, you know it's a great skill to have now let me tell you about how these courses are structured in japan in japan this will be taught in small classroom sizes they will be projects which will encourage you to learn uh, in hands on projects so practical projects is one way of uh, teaching in most japanese universities there will be co- courses which will be integrated with ai and internet of things business strategies are better suitable for su- students there is a very uh, you know good connection with companies so there is academia industry relationship in most japanese universities which will benefit you when you are looking out for a job and even during the course uh, the courses are very advanced and they are kept in uh, line with what is in demand in the industry right now now i want to tell you five mistakes that students make while choosing courses so that you don't make that mistake so one is you know just going blindly after uh, trends so if everybody has been choosing computer science for the past 10 years or so trust me the trends have changed the demand in the market has changed so you might just want to change that break that trend and choose your own path second ignoring job market demands so you must study what is in demand in the job market you must connect with somebody who is doing the job and actually find out uh, what does it take to be a data analyst or uh, you know if you are going to be a computer science engineer just ask them um, if they feel secure in their job right now right so uh, definitely you should do that I- i'm sure um, it also depends on a lot of other factors but uh, demands in the industry keep changing and we should keep a tab on uh, what's in demand another mistake is overlooking real world application so uh, many courses are more theoretical please choose ones which are more uh, applied another mistake is that students usually listen to other students their peers a lot and without really uh, talking to experts and counselors um, while your peers um, i understand would be a good influence on you largely they will influence a lot of uh, decisions in your life but uh, in academics and in your career uh, because you know it's such an important decision you should rely on expert opinions more and get uh, you know proper consultation don't just follow the herd and people's voices without evaluating it on your own so if you would like to get help for your admissions or you would like to learn more about data analytics please comment below get in touch with us if you like the video if you thought it's useful for understanding this new field of data analytics give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel